All right, time to move on to a wonder kit to watch. Let's talk about Troy Parrott. Troy Parrott, he's on loan at Millwall uh, at the moment, but he is uh, contracted to Tottenham. And Troy Parrott, an Irish international, he did make his debut, I believe, a year ago, a year or two ago. And uh, he's only 18 years old. And there are some comparisons to him, since he's Irish, to Robbie Keane and what he can provide for Ireland as a striker but also what he can provide to Spurs as a striker. Um, he has been moving up through them uh, through uh, their academy. He did make his Premier League debut under Jose Mourinho um, uh, last season, but now is at loan at Millwall. Uh, he only has one assist and no goals while he's at Millwall, having suffered from uh, uh, issues with injury earlier on in the season. And I think the main thing we're going to be seeing from Troy Parrott is hopefully a development where he's going to be on loan, uh, and uh, he's only 18 years old, so we can't expect too much from him and uh, give him the praise as the next Harry Kane, but we can also see the glimmers of uh, what is possible and the potential he has, which is uh, very high. And I think that Troy Parrott can provide something for Tottenham because he's 18 years old, a lot of years left on him uh, to develop as a player, and that means going on loan. And he has uh, various attributes about him that really catches the eye, specifically his uh, his uh, his technique in particular. And uh, again, only 18 years old. And I think that there was cries for him to play uh, for Spurs when Harry Kane was injured. But I think that it was a right decision by Jose Mourinho not to rush him in because, again, only 18 years old. And I think that... The best thing now for uh, Troy Parrott is continuing to develop for uh, uh, Tottenham and uh, continue to um, uh, just getting more of that experience. And I think that the championship can definitely provide him that. And uh, he's still in London, so he's not having to adapt a whole lot. But uh, he he has what what's available to him. Uh, is being and he's been rated it quite highly uh, with uh, him making his international debut and uh, just what he has in his locker. For example, let's talk about his finishing, which is clinical, as well as the work rate. Um, there's been uh, some footage of him, you can just look it up, uh, where you see him in the under 19 side when he plays for Tottenham. When he loses the ball, he runs back. An impressive work rate, and it's something I'm sure Jose Mourinho will definitely appreciate uh, as he rises to prominence. And the main thing, I think, for him is not to get bogged down by the hype. That's for sure. Because Ireland uh, will probably have a lot of expectations on him, as well as not get bogged down by injuries and just trying to stay fit because he's already his season away on loan at a championship side uh, Millwall is already under jeopardy and the main thing I think for him now is just focus on recovering uh, and uh, there's been reports that maybe Tottenham will recall him but I don't think that's likely at all and I think that he should just keep staying at Millwall and uh, stay on loan I think for another two years max uh, and if he doesn't provide anything or if he does prove something which I'm sure he's able to deliver then uh, I think the best thing for him is uh, put in those performances and show that work rate that he shows um, uh, and provides running back and the pressing and the quality of pressing that he has and I think another uh, factor that will play into uh, Troy Parrott's future is also the future of Harry Kane and uh, what he can do uh, specifically, what is going to happen for um, Troy Parrott, uh, considering that Harry Kane is probably one of the best players, if not the best player in the uh, uh, Premier League right now, and what he's been doing. So I think there's not a lot of options for him to grow at Tottenham, and uh, he should primarily just be looking for playing minutes and not try to focus completely at Spurs at this current moment. But mainly for him, I think, is that he's definitely a wonder kid to watch. And Troy Parrott, if he can uh, keep his head down and focus on what he needs to do, don't get bogged down the hype around him because he seems like an extremely hyped player. And uh, just focus on getting a good run of form at Millwall and just finding his groove and adapting to the championship. And the main thing 
that should be a focus for any fan or anyone looking at him right now is that he's 18 years old. Keep that in mind. He's 18 years old. He is still very young and still has a lot to do if he's going to prove the potential that he has.